And this is why the person went to jail. Good morning, scavengers. This is James. We are back in San Antonio, Texas, where we bought a $60 storage unit, and here's the unit. We got a lot of stuff cleaned out yesterday. We took a load back to the house, took a bunch of stuff straight to our auction yesterday afternoon, got some sales. We actually have already broken even on the storage unit, so thanks to y'all that came to yesterday's auction. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We had a really great time. Me and Amber, we sold some stuff. We had some community. We had some fun chats. Thank you guys for joining us. So today we're going to finish cleaning out the storage unit that we've got here. We've got some furniture here. What we're going to do first of all is I'm going to try to get down, move some stuff out of the way, get the furniture out and get it loaded into the vehicle. And then we're going to pile everything else in around the furniture. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Here we are, we started pulling out the couch and we're taking a look at it, looking it over and the legs were broken and the couch was really stained up. It wasn't in very good shape. So we decided we weren't gonna try to resell it. I probably would have only gotten like 10, 15 bucks for it on Facebook Marketplace, if that much. And it would have taken up almost the entire vehicle. So we would have had to have another run home just to drop off the couch. So instead we just decided to donate it and so we went and loaded it up along with some of the other stuff out of the unit and took it and got rid of it right then and there. So if you're doing storage units yourself, always look at ways to save yourself a little bit of headache and not store stuff that you don't really need to be holding on to. Just get rid of it right then and there and then move on. So we also have right here, we have a JVPC compact disc system. It's a nice little JVC stereo. Auxiliary headphones. Nice little JVC setup here. We'll have to take it back, hook it up, see if it works. If this thing works, it may be worth a few bucks. We'll have to look it up after we test it and see if it works. We will look it up and see what it's worth. But that right there might be able to pay for the unit again. More artwork, we're always finding artwork. These are kind of 3D. They're Dollar General Store, 10 bucks a piece. But there's horses, there's puppy dogs, and more horses. They're kind of 3D holographic pictures. Those are pretty cool. They were Dollar Store, kind of 10, to 10 bucks a piece. I could probably sell them for maybe four or five bucks a piece. So that's. If I sold them for five bucks a piece, that's 15 bucks right there. Just in those three. Okay, so we got another Jordan box. And let's see. This is all household stuff. It's a camera. Spy point camera. So it's like a hidden camera. We'll test that out and see if it works. So I may have a new camera that I can use somewhere in my setup. Let's check it out here. Got more cables, pregnancy test, the leg, ooh, and another camera for like a security system. I don't know how to test it. Well, let's see if we can figure out a way to test this. And again, if these work, they might be worth a little bit of money. boots, zippers, made in Bulgaria, got both of them, pretty decent shape, Nikes, another pair, more shoes, Microsoft J++, this thing is still sealed. So, professional edition, and that's sealed in the package. It's an old version. Huh. Microsoft Visual 97. 
Some of this old software is definitely still sealed in the pack. Some of this old software is collectible now. Yeah. Windows 95 and Windows NT workstations. Wow. Java compatible. This is crazy. But it's still factory sealed. So that may be worth some money for a collectible. Number 21, Funko Pop. Elliot. Out of the box. 2018 Funko. Uh, some of the Funkos, even out of the box, some of the Funkos are worth something. We'll have to check that one out. Got a new haul clock. As you can see, it's still ticking. It's got a little crack in the stuff. I'll probably be able to sell it at a yard sale or something. Empty little tub. Sophia Joy. That is more makeup. Hmm. Nope. Personal stuff. Keychains. I have a whole collection of keychains. So we'll pull the keys off. And personal cards. There's some gift cards in there. We'll have to check those out, see if they have any money. Nice little nice little box. Probably probably about I'd say fifteen, probably I think probably thirty. I'll have to get look at those. This one right here is the big money and that one we'll have to see if it's worth anything. It might be good twenty or thirty bucks. Um, might not be at all. And the Funko Pop probably worth about five bucks or so. They're not worth that much if they're out of the box. But still, I mean that's thirty or twenty years. I mean you got another fifty bucks in that box right there. That box once again I'm gonna pay for the unit. So we're not going to haul all this stuff that we're going to donate all the way back to San Marcos and <coughs> donate it there since we're this far away. <coughs> what we're going to do, we're going to load up the dishes and the, along with the furniture that we're going to just get rid of it. Yeah, we're going to go find a place to donate this stuff and we'll be back in just a little bit. Alright, so we got our donation done. We found a Goodwill just a few blocks away. Nothing really spectacular happened. Nothing really film worthy. So we're going to go ahead and continue our unboxing. Always keep your gloves on, please. You never know what you're going to find in these boxes. If you're doing unboxing, whether you're recording it or not, it doesn't matter. If you're doing unboxing at the storage unit, make sure you're wearing gloves. I have not done it and got myself in trouble multiple times. So we got some more shoes. I got a tub over here that I brought with me to put some of the loose stuff in. I'm gonna get that stored in. And here's another box. It looks like I should have probably taken this with me to my donation run. We did find a good one just a few blocks away. We have to make another one over there. A little bit. I don't think I'll have to. I think we'll be all right. After some of this, and I have my knife. I just left it out in the car. Ooh, this is one of those ninja cups. I think I'll have to look it up. See, that's a magic bullet or a ninja. Those things will sell if I have the rest of it. Swiffers. That's going to go into the household pile. We're going to keep that. Ooh, I love these. I'm definitely keeping that. We use these all the time. And it's brand new in the box. More slippers, more slippers. Those are some cute little baskets. And there's some dollar store stuff. There's some pots and pans down there. 
more silverware, but it's all cheap stuff. And sometimes, for some reason, they don't wash the dishes before they go in here. Dish soap, and it's good stuff, so we're definitely using that. Alright, so some of that's keeper, some of it's going in the trash. We'll take it back to the house and sort it out there. Little river rat things. If those are don't have holes in them and they air up, those can actually be worth another 10, 15 bucks. A piece. Another river rat thing. That's one, two. I got another one already over here, so that's three. Got three of those river tubes. Don't go see me much ourselves. Another little purse. Not a bad shape. I don't see a brand name on it. Always check these out. Make sure you go through all the pockets because sometimes you find stuff. Yeah, made in China. It's a cheap one. That's a cute one. Another little purse. Oh, I think I've got in the box of purses. Beverly Hills Polo Club. We sold one of those yesterday that we got out of here. Chargers and cables. Chargers and cables. We'll keep a bunch of those. We'll go through them and see if they got the types that we need. And the rest of them will go into our dollar bin. Ooh. Christmas lights. Yay. More Christmas lights. Old style. Ooh, Victoria's Secret. Still in the bag. Towel wrap. Jessica may call dibs on that, I don't know. We'll see. Some hair. And then more chargers and cake. Victoria ain't got too many things left in here. Mmm. What do you think they're doing with a bunch of dime bags? I know what I can use them for though. I use them for my jewelry when I'm going to auction like So we'll actually keep those. This goes with the turkey. There's a chicken. More makeup. More remote controls. I think I found like two or three remotes now. And this is why we wear gloves. And this is why. person went to jail. More paraphernalia. This stuff's going straight to the trash. You got a crack spoon there. You got needles. This is why the person that owned this unit went to jail. Almost every unit we find it's either divorce, detainment, which means they went to jail, or death. 75 to 80 percent of the units we buy those are the three reasons why This one drugs they're in jail. I Just found more needles. I found a stack of needles. I found a crack spoon a meth spoon where they were heating up their meth <sighs> Stay away from drugs Converse the old-fashioned cloth Converse Converse all-stars it had a true fetish, that's for sure. There's the Converse. Shoes, shoes, shoes. We're gonna have to go through all these shoes. This lady had a shoe fetish, I swear. Oh my goodness. Everywhere we look, we'll find more shoes. Oh, look. Another cell phone. Broke, but it's going in our broke cell phone bin. We sell those up as parts. There's a, some kind of a blanket. The Mexican style Serapi blanket. Steve Madden purse. What what wah. It's empty.
these. I'll get you how they do the little cheap tables. Well, I may be able to use those little cheap tables in my office. Alright, I think I've kind of been through everything. I got that one last bin. What we're going to do is we're going to load up some of this stuff, get it out of the way. Alright, so we got the unit home. We sorted through stuff. We got through some of the paperwork. And we found out the lady that owned this unit was locked up in prison. Not only was she locked up in prison, she was locked up for possession. And she was locked up right here in Lockhart, Texas, just a few blocks away from our house. This isn't the prison that I used to work at, but there's another prison just a few blocks from my house. It's an all-women's prison, and that's where she was locked up. So she was released in 2019, and she's now back in prison for possession with intent to distribute. She was dealing as well as using. So this is why you want to stay away from drugs. Just do it. Just stay away from drugs. So drugs never ends up well. Anyway, it's been a fun one. We got this one done. We're going to wrap it up and put this one in the books. We'll see you at the next auction. Have a great day.